right? And uh, I told that's Joe saying that, a lot. That, and I told Joe that I watched two practices, and I just like, you know, they didn't shoot it that well in that practice, but their <laughs> continuity and their rhythm, and us old basketball coaches used to say, it looked like a a well-oiled machine, and we know how uh, they play defense, but offensively. And I told Joe this the other night after the game. Coach, what a great game. I said, Coach, you know this. Of course, he's going to be like, you know, we're just on the brink of disaster all the time. Bless his heart. But I said, if y'all are shooting the ball well, it's going to be hard for anybody in the country to beat you. Now, I know that's a little bit. Let's talk about this one at hand now, UALR and Texas Arlington. Uh, both these teams size-wise, uh, Texas Arlington a little bit bigger than UALR. Uh, one of them averages 70 points a game, UALR averages 68. Uh, so number-wise, it's pretty even. Uh, get down to rebounding, shooting the basketball, and who wants it the most? Well, I think I think that's it. It's a an effort-based uh, proposition. We know that Arlington is going to have a try to promote a fast-paced game. Shoot the ball quick. They attempt a lot of threes, Ray. They don't make a whole lot, but they attempt so many. I think they made seven against ULM uh, Thursday night at ULM, but they attempted 27. They drive the ball extremely hard to the bucket. I mentioned McClanahan to you. That's the guy that Coach Shields first mentioned to me, so I'm assuming he and then a kid that come off the, comes off the bench, Hill, does the same thing. He drives hard. He shoots quick outside. Very athletic. They go to the free throw line, and uh, they're going to play about. They'll play man for man. They'll play zone. So we've got to be prepared for any everything. If there's one thing that I think <coughs> Coach identified that they might try to do, uh, and I'll cover the keys later, but. I think if they're vulnerable in anything defensively, I'm talking about UTA, it would be inside defense. So we need to, we're going to try to isolate Roger Woods and even Gus, but mostly Roger, uh, as much as we possibly can. These two teams, uh, both of them shoot about 33, 34% on threes. That's not something ULR, I don't think tonight, Bobby really wants to hang their hat on, but. Uh, the other night in the second half, they lit it up pretty good. Well, we shot the ball better in the fall camp, Ray, and in the first five games from the three. And then since then, it, it hasn't been that good until the other night. Our guys are good shooters. James Reed's an excellent shooter. So is Ben Dillard. So is Josh Hagens. Uh, I'm going to stop it at about right there. But, well, Mo Eisen's a good perimeter shooter. But they... You know, they're going one for six and stuff like that. So you've got to share the ball and get it to the hot hand or drive that thing and put the other team on the free throw line. Should be a good one tonight, UAL and Texas Arlington in a Sun Belt matchup. We'll take a pause here on the Pepsi pregame show. Back with more from the Stevens Center after this. From natural landscapes to wonderful amenities, the neighborhoods of Chennault Valley bring to life everything you could dream of in a community. Surrounded by 36 holes of picturesque golf and one-of-a-kind shopping and dining, coming home feels more like getting away. To learn more about Chennault Valley or to start your search for a new lot or home, go to Chennault.com and see how life happens here. Chennault Valley. Shop. Golf. Dine. Live. Voluntary benefits from Transamerica Life Insurance Company can help recruit qualified applicants and keep seasoned employees. Transamerica offers group health insurance benefits that can help offset costs not covered by major medical. We also offer a strong portfolio of group life insurance. Voluntary benefits let your employees decide what benefits are best for them and can be offered at little or no cost to you. Ask your Transamerica Benefit Advisor how the power of voluntary benefits can help your dream team. Learn more at www.transamericaemployeebenefits.com. That time of year, are you getting ready for that big cleaning job? Maybe you're re-waxing the floor or just looking for vacuum cleaner or mops or buckets? Find everything you need at Brown Janitor Support. They're proud to offer a broad line of triple S and national brand chemicals. 
There's no job too big or small for Brown Janitor Supply. They're easy to get to. You can find them 3509 Asher Avenue in Little Rock. Or you can check them out on the web, brownjanitorsupply.com. Get by and see them and make that cleanup a lot easier. Making a trip to Central Arkansas for an overnight stay? Check out the Holiday Inn West right off Financial Parkway. It has everything you will need like free Wi-Fi, refrigerators, and microwaves in all rooms. There's plenty of meeting space and complimentary parking. They also have a West Rock Cafe, a full-service bar, and most importantly, they have discounted rates. That's the Holiday Inn West off Financial Parkway. Jack Stevens Center, ULR in uh, Texas, Arlington, going through their final warm-ups as we get ready to uh, tip this one off. Bobby Vint, let's look at your keys to victory here, if we may. Well, number one, defensive transition. Right, if we don't try to stop the ball and get sprint back and retreat into that defensive triangle to guard the lane, we'll have a lot of problems today. And... Uh, that's number one, defensive transition. Secondly, we don't want that frantic pace that they're going to try to promote. We want some offensive patience uh, in our half-court game. We've got to have it. Uh, we, we put it like this. Most teams will play good man-for-man -man defense and pressure for passes one through four. Check and see how they do passes five through nine. See if the same... Uh, technique and fundamental and effort is there on passes five through nine. Thirdly, we got a rebound. We just got to, we've got to control the defensive boards, and we got to get to the offensive boards. You remember Thursday night, Ray, when it was seven to one in rebounds? We can't have that and be successful anymore. Not against UTA anyway. You know, looking at uh, Texas Arlington, uh, height wise, they're about the same size as UALR. Lengthwise, they look. They got some guys that look like they're pretty long there. So they, they are long, according yeah, to Steve. Yeah, they they are long, and that that'll be a factor. So again, as Bobby just pointed out, rebounding is going to be a, a big key this afternoon. That's going to do it for the Pepsi pregame show. We'll take a pause here and be back with starting lineups and the opening tip in just a moment. Chicken for dinner, milk for breakfast, bagels for office, beer for teens. Shattered families, visit from police, loss of respect, loss of job, loss of life as you know. Buying alcohol for minors only buys trouble. Don't do it. Live responsibly. Miller Brewing Company, Fort Worth, Texas. Guest coming in from out of town? Your choice of hotels makes a statement about you. The Holiday Inn Presidential in downtown Little Rock says first-class presidential treatment with 150 elegantly appointed guest rooms and 4,000 square feet of meeting space. The Holiday Inn Presidential is perfect for business and pleasure. Make the right statement with the Holiday Inn Presidential on Interstate 30 in downtown Little Rock. To find out more, go online at hipresidential.com. Hey, if it isn't Brett, my favorite Pepsi Max driver. Hey, Doug, what's cracking? Hey, how's the road treating that old Coke Zero truck of yours? It's good, you know. But listen, you need to hook me up with some of that Pepsi Max. Dude, you drive a Coke Zero truck. <laughs> what if somebody sees you drinking Pepsi Max? Hey, I just don't care. I will shove this whole pancake in my mouth, or or I will belly dance Ew. for you, huh? I will do whatever you want, but hook me up. But you have a bunch of Coke Zero in your truck. I do, I do, but you know it's not the same. Yes, they both have zero calories, but I just love the taste of Pepsi Max. Come on, do me a solid. Okay, here. But just a small sip. <laughs> I promise. Okay, you need to give that back. <sighs> what the? I'm sorry. I just couldn't help, help it. Back. No. Oh, Pepsi Max. Pepsi Max. Zero calories. Maximum Pepsi taste. UALR Basketball is on the air. ULR set to play host to Texas Arlington this afternoon, who is 11-7, 5-3 in conference play. Scott Cross, their head coach, 
They will start at one guard, Eric Neal, 5'11", a freshman out of Dallas, averaging right at four points a game. One of the other guards, Drew Charles, he's also out of Texas, 6'2", a sophomore, averaging 7.5 points and 2.5 and rebounds a game. And the third guard, a guy to watch, is Lonnie McClanahan. He is out of Tennessee, 6'1", a senior, averages 10 points and 3.3 rebounds a game. He's a guy that can push the basketball. And he's one of the guys that makes his team go. At the forward spots, it'll be Jorge Bilbo, 6'8", a sophomore out of Spain is averaging 3.2 points a game and three rebounds a game. The other forward, Greg Caney, is out of Dayton, Ohio, 6'5", a senior, averaging nine points and three and a half rebounds a game. Steve Shields in his 12th year at UALR, overall record 186 and 171. His team, 7-11 overall, 2-6 and six in league play, and desperately need a victory here this afternoon. Starting at the guard spots for UALR, it will be Josh Hagan, 6'2", a junior out of Shreveport, Louisiana, second leading scorer on the team at 11.2 points a game and four rebounds. Also at the guard spot will be Devontae Smith, 5'11", a senior out of Oklahoma City, averaging two and a half points and two and a half rebounds a game. The third guard will be Ben Dillard, 6'2", senior out of Frisco, Texas. Ben's averaging eight points and 1.7 rebounds a game. Forwards, BULR will be Roger Woods, 6'5", out of Jackson, Mississippi. Leading scorer and rebounder on the team at 12.6 points and 6.5 and rebounds. And down low on the block at the center spot will be Gus Leeper, senior out of Austin, Texas, 6'10", averaging 4.2 points a game and 2.5 and rebounds a game. Bobby, we talk all the time about Gus Leeper. Uh, he has a new role on this team with James White out. He's been inserted in the, in the starting lineup. Uh, had problems as a sub coming off the bench, staying out of foul trouble. And again, uh, that's huge here in the first half if Gus doesn't get into foul problems. Well, Ray, you're right. And, uh, you know, if he's going to foul, it's got to be at the rim. He's got to keep his hands off, move his feet, and defensive uh, defending the, the post. And uh, he can't go over backs offensively. It may look good, but it's not good. If you're going to rebound offensively, even up or out quick the guy, you cannot go over a guy's back. That's a cardinal sin that officials pick up on it. Looks good like effort, but it's just bad basketball. And he's got to play smart, and he's obviously capable. He's a four-point whatever student. And uh, I think, Ray, I think you've hit on a, a huge key. We've got to keep him in a position where Steve can use him several different ways, no doubt. And offensively, uh, if Leeper is in, gets himself in good position to receive the ball, I, I think is a big key. If he gets the ball at the block, he's just got to, no wasted motion, don't put it on the floor, don't show it, chin it, and go right to the hoop. We've chin. seen Gus shoot the ball 10, 12, 15 feet with some accuracy. He just got to make sure that he shoots it at the right time and properly in the shot clock. And when you say chin it, you mean, hey, when you get it, don't take it down. Don't get it Correct. down where the little guys can get to it. Yes. Well, in the home uniforms, white trimmed in maroon, and Texas Arlington in bright orange trimmed in blue and a little gray tossed in their, their uniforms. They, they first joined the league last year. It was, it was their first year after four teams had left the league. Halftime score. Georgia State leading Monroe 29-27. We'll keep an eye on that one throughout the day. Texas Arlington for three. Off the front of the iron, no good. Smith with a rebound for UALR. Devontae found a little opening, takes it all the way to the rack. Trying to lay up is good. He gets the first points of the game. From up here, you can see that. It looked like they parted the Red Sea for him. Up there, down there is a little tighter than that. Again, I apologize for the raspy voice. It's that time of the year. Baseline jumper is up and in and out, no good. Ganey on the miss. Smith with a rebound for UALR. Zipping it down the floor. Now he'll back it out and set the offense. Out front it comes to Leeper. Well, beyond the arc, he hands it to Hagens. Left side it goes to Smith. Devontae to Leeper. He is triple team, kicks it out to Ben Dillard. That's the thing he's got to be aware of, how many people are around him. Hagens takes it to the glass. His leaner is good. Ray, it was very important to Steve Shields that his team get off to a good start, show a lot of energy. I think we're we're seeing that. Both the shots by UALR are basically layups from long range. Three-pointed tip. No good. Battle for the rebound. Last touch by the guys in orange. Well, you know, we said in the beginning, pregame, they're going to shoot it quick. So you, you better get back. You better get set. You better get ready to get up and and challenge and block all. 
and they have shot it quick. <laughs> no doubt yes, about sir. that. Smith to Dillard. Then be on the arc. Right side to Hagens. Down low to Roger Woods. Nice entry pass by Hagens. And the Trojans lead it. 6 nothing. Another layup. Ray, where have all of our scores been? Right inside. We're going to take it to them. Out front. They're working around. ULR in a man for man. Man to man. I thought it was a 1-2-2 two, two for a minute. There's a yeah. turnover by Arlington. Smith feeds it to Roger Woods. Roger, big guy, takes it. Kisses it off the window. No good. He should have held that one up. Gotten better than there's Hagens with a steal, though, for UALR. They'll get a new 35. Ray, I'm surprised Devontae threw the ball to Roger to begin with. Yeah, I mean, that they, point. get it to him in the open floor, you got to be kidding. Yeah. Right side it goes to Hagen, well beyond the three-point arc. Right side to Woods. Roger squares up, lets it fly. No good. Should have taken that off the dribble. Back the other way comes Texas Arlington. Down the paint. Runners no good. Leaper with a rebound. He'll get it to Devontae Smith. Numbers not in ULR's favor. Devontae kicks it out to Hagen's from way downtown. Josh Hagen's no good. Ray, we don't need to get into that hectic pace. McClanahan with a rebound. Boy, I tell you what, here they come right down the middle of the paint. Stripped away by the Trojans. Woods with it. He'll get it to Dillard. Ben spots up. Three ball left side. Wait. No good. And Texas Arlington in battling for the rebound. Steps out of bounds with it. That, that's exactly what Coach Shields doesn't want. The last three possessions, we've made one pass and shot the ball. We we don't want to play that pace. We want The ball should go through the block. Gus or Roger or drive it like we saw Devontae and, and, and Hagens and uh, Roger do. Trojans working it on the offensive end. Basket to our right. Inside, Leaper will get a touch. Gets it right back to Devontae. Left side to Dillard. 2-3 zone by. Let's see who the zone buster might be. Oh. Dillard with a floater in the paint. No good. Battle for the rebound. Went off of Roger Woods' foot. And it'll belong to Texas Arlington. Well, <coughs> Ben... That, that's just not a good shot. He's seen some other people make that shot. That's just not a good shot. That little floater. Arlington on the attack. The Mavericks. Again, Joe Foley's troops a winner again this afternoon. They are 16-2 and two on the year. McClanahan with it. Gives up his dribble. Goes down inside to Charles. Stolen away by Woods. They try to skip it along the baseline to the other side. And the Trojans took it away. Devontae Smith. Go back it out now. And my voice Gosh, drives you crazy. It's, it's driving me crazy too. <laughs> Trojans lead it 6-0. Roger Woods to the rack. He is foul. Will go the line to shoot two. Basket did not go. And what ULR mapped out offensively, Bobby, is when, when they... Have a little patience. It's working for them. Absolutely. And, and, you know, I think sometimes when Devontae's in the game and he pushes the ball down the floor, they misinterpret that, his teammates. No. If you get a layup, fine. Or if he takes it to the rim, fine. Follow up and rebound. But when Devontae brings it back out and passes it to you, that's his signal and cue for you to be patient and run the offense. Roger Woods at the line, shoots 68%. He makes them both. 8 nothing UALR. We got 16-10 to go here in the opening half. Maybe this drought will continue for four or five minutes for Texas Arlington. Anthony Walker, 44, comes in for Bilbo, 6-9. Loose basketball. They go on the floor with it, and Trojans come up with it. Roger Woods dove on the guy and took it away from him. Hagens with it, left side. Penetrates, kicks it out. Devontae Smith wide open for the three, and he won't take it. Sometimes you got to take that, Bobby. Well, <laughs> Leaper along the baseline. He's wide open. He'll take it. In and out, no good. See, Neil with the rebound for Texas Arlington. I go back to this, Ray. Let's go through the block. And Devontae knows that. And, and uh, Gus just went to the floor, and Texas Arlington gets on the board. And that is... Anthony Walker, the 6'9 senior out of San Antonio, who checked in for Bilbo, who gets their first bucket of the night. Ray, I remember Walker from last year. 6'2", excuse me, 8'2", UALR. Dillard, right side, had an opening, takes it inside the paint, kicks it out. Leaper from out on the floor, beyond the free throw line. Leaper, not afraid to shoot that. Watched him in warm-ups, knocked that down a number of times. Gus's first basket of the evening. 
10-2 UALR. Neal from long range for Texas Arlington. Shot's no good. Devontae Smith with a rebound. Man, I tell you what, there's a lot of contact in this game that's not being called. And I'm talking about both ways. Devontae leaves it for Dillard. He'll hand it off to Roger Woods beyond the three-point arc. Left side out front, it comes to Smith. Inside the leaper. Pass was wide of the mark. Gus flagged it down, but it didn't have an opportunity to shoot it. He'll get it to Hagens. Josh from long range. Right side, got it. Hagens with a three. And ULR off to a good start. They lead it 13-2. to two. There's another steal by ULR. Hagens to Dillard. Oh. Lays it up and in. 14 to 2. And Scott Cross has to call a timeout as his team is down 13 with 14.08 to play, coach. Wow. Well, we said we wanted to get off to a good start. And, and I tell you, our defense has been, we've been digging inside. We've been sealing. We knew they were going to drive the basketball. We've gotten defensive rebounds. We, we pushed it and took advantage of their lack of uh, defensive transition. And, uh, and Josh Higgins has been playing great. And if you can step out and set him a screen, and he comes off of that screen with a dribble like that, he's dangerous. Now, right, right here is where you got to exercise some discipline and stick to your knitting. Continue to do this on the defensive end. Play smart on the offensive end. And, and make them play some defense before you take shots. I don't think they'll, I think they'll break down. I think we're good enough to make them break down and take advantage of it. 15-2, to your Trojans out front with 14 minutes to go here in the opening half. We're at the Jack Stevens Center. Second time this week we've been here. Nice to be at home for a short period of time. Trojans on the road at Arkansas State on Thursday and Georgia Southern on Saturday. That's From right. long range, that one is no good. There we go, and the miss tipped out to Josh Higgins. Higgins out of the pass to Dillard, left side of the floor in front of the Mavericks bench. Out front to Roger Woods for three. Not sure what he was thinking, and they'll get Leaper for coming over the back. And there's one of those fouls you talked about right there, Bobby. Yeah, I, I'm not, you know, I don't mind Roger taking that ball on the ninth pass half court-wise media timeout. Right. All right, pause in the action. We got 13-33 left in the first half. Trojans lead it 15-2. to two. Do you know what time it is? If you don't, head to the Timex Outlet Store for all your needs. It ain't they about you, Roger. Come on, pass the ball. Kids, watches, casual sports, or dress wear. Check out all their I said it ain't about you, Roger. Watches, pass the ball. Rate, speed and distance monitors. The Timex Outlet Store is open to the public and is located in North Middle Rock on Pike Avenue next to Colson Oil. They're open Monday through Friday from 9 to 4. Call 370-5700 for special sale dates. Timex, it takes a licking and keeps on time. Come on. Hey, are you hungry? With more than 550 restaurants to choose from, Little Rock has something for every appetite and budget. And best of all, you'll never have to do the dishes again. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, delicious choices, and tons of variety anytime. Don't wait for a special occasion. Dine out today. To learn more about where to eat at Little Rock or join our membership club, go to experiencelittlerockdining.com and bring your appetite. This message brought to you by the Little Rock Convention and Visitors Bureau. There we go. From natural landscapes to wonderful amenities, the neighborhoods of Chenal Valley bring to life everything you could dream of in a community. Surrounded by 36 holes of picturesque golf and one of a kind shop. We're six of 13, they're one of seven. Getting away. To learn more about Chenal Valley or to start your search for a new lot or yeah. home, go to Chenal.com. We're shooting 14 percent. <laughs> Chenal Valley, shop, golf, dine, live. And that's your nearest picture of T-shirt cost. Fans look forward to ask for Arkansas Zone. We talked in the Pepsi pregame show about how important it was or the importance of ULR getting off to a good start, and they've done just that. They're 6 of 13 from the field, 46.2%. Texas Arlington, on the other hand, 1 of 7, 14%. ULR out rebounding the Mavs, 7 to 6. And again, that last personal foul was on Leaper. Mavs with a basketball, shooting basket to our left. Wilson has checked into the lineup for them. And they've got a couple other changes. We'll pick those up for you in a second. Adler is also in. Adler with a long-range shot. And he knocks down their first three of the night. On the right side, right wing. 15-5 on that bucket. They're looking for somebody to light a fire into them. ULR's had success on the inside. Hagen's with it out front. 
Right side it goes to Smith. Mavs are in a man-to-man -man defense now. Woods with it. Out front leaves it for Hagens. Josh off the dribble. Gets it to Smith. 12 on the shot clock. Devontae hands it off to Dillard. Ben to Hagens. Way, way, way outside. That one's off the front of the iron. Leaper tried to tip it outside, but ended up in the hands of Hervey of Texas Arlington. They take it hard to the rack. Trojans draw the foul. Dillard picks up the foul. The bucket will count. And they'll go to the line. And here's just a little mini run they got going, Coach. Yeah, and that's why, you know, defensive transition starts with picking up the ball quick, getting it under control. Make him, make him change directions. Keep him in front of you. You can't let him get that deep in the lane without something bad happening. Free throw is no good. Battle for the offensive rebound. They'll call a foul. A foul coming over the back. I started to say if they call that a jump ball. Number 44, Walker at 6'9", was draped over Leaper. That's his first foul of the game. First on the Mavs. Trojans with two team fouls. Devontae Smith, a senior out of Oklahoma City, will walk it down for UALR. Now, Arlington's gone to a man defense, Ray, so we've got to adjust here. And Inside it goes to Leaper down on the left block. Wow. Right-hand jump hook is good. That's pretty. That's that, pretty right. That was. He doesn't normally shoot, shoot that flat a shot. Roger Woods with the steal, and then he dunked it, and they... Oh, I don't know what happened there. Oh, it was dead ball. It's dead ball, and so... <laughs> I don't know. Roger's going, hey, come on, guys. Well, I did my job. Roger didn't... He didn't hesitate or wait for a decision. He did that and then found out, which is smart on his part. Yes, it was. There was a sub that was being administered into the game. That's why it was not... James Reed in place of Ben Dillard for UALR. 17-7. Yeah. Your Trojans lead it with 12.09 to go in the half. Left side, three-point attempt is up, no good. Woods with the rebound on the miss by Outlook. Higgins, right side, lets it fly from long range, no good. Leaper battling for the rebound. Whoa, they almost got number two on Gus. Down the floor, Outlook with it, right in front of the Trojan bench. He'll give it up to McClanahan. Down low, good ball movement by the Mavs. I say that, and then they lose it. Hagens ties the guy up, and the possession error favors UALR. These guys, I'm telling you what, they're having problems hanging on the basketball, Coach. Yeah, they are. All right, media timeout, 11.39 to go in the half. UALR leads it by 10, 17-7. People may think that a restaurant's biggest concern is what to put on special tomorrow. But Ameripride knows that the food and beverage industry has more to worry about than, well, just food and beverages. Ameripride creates custom programs to maintain cleanliness, safety, and a positive image. From quality linens and towels to uniforms to facility services and floor care products. Ameripride manages your inventory so you have what you need when you need it. Find out more at Ameripride.com. Ameripride, the people you can count on. Go Trojans! All over Arkansas, people are talking about MeTV. MeTV is Arkansas's home for memorable entertainment television. The Dick Van Dyke Show. Mesh, Gunsmoke, MeTV has over 80 shows in its library. You can watch MeTV over the air on KMYA 49.1. Go to MeTV Network, yourmarket.com for more information. After a Trojans game, Dugan's Pub is the place to celebrate. Rockin' the block. UALR continues to lead Texas Arlington 17-7. Our score, Trojans have made 7 of 16 field goals and Texas Arlington 3 of 10, just 30%. UALR with good balance scoring. Leaper's got 4. Roger Woods with 4. Higgins has got 5. JT Thomas checked in the lineup. It is Thomas, Woods, Reed, Leaper, and Washington for UALR. Wow. Thomas with it, gets it to Reed. Reed, left side to Washington. Jerron will give it up to Thomas. JT sporting a white headband tonight. Makes it easy to identify him. Woods puts it on the floor. He'll give it up to Reed. Spots up, lets it fly. Got it. Boy, I'll tell you what. If he could heat up, this would be a different ball club. I'm telling you, Ray, big, big-time difference. 
20 to 7. Trojans lead it on that three by Reed. Oh, Clanahan pass inside intended for Hervey. Ooh. Knocked away. Outlet pass to Thomas. Kicks it to Reed. Reed turned down the three. Wow, didn't know what he was going to do to it. And just was lucky Leaper was there to bail him out. Thomas with it off the dribble out front. Reed from way downtown. No good. Battle for the rebound. Washington got a hand on it but couldn't pull it in. He shot that from Main Street and Little Rock, right? That was from the uh, Main Street Bridge, I think. Yep. Back the other way. Outler from about the same now see, about the same distance. His second of the game. Right. That's why Jerron's in the ball game. Is to guard him. Is to get, is to run him off of there. Ten point Trojan lead, twenty to ten. Inside, <laughs> Reed feeds it to Roger Woods, the leaner by Roger. How he got that over the front of the rim, I don't know. Great move, Ray. He didn't jump very high off the floor, that's for sure, but he got it to go. 22-10 UALR. Ray, did the defender just give up on that shot? I mean, I don't know why. That, that was strange. McClanahan feeds it to Hervey for long range. Wow. Same spot. They've, been, they've made three threes from that same spot. The right wing, even with the free throw line, just yeah. beyond the arc. 22-13. Trojans got to take care of that. Reese Hill will check in for UALR, next dead ball. Out front, Woods this time for two. That one is no good. Take it to the rack, Roger. Mavs with the basketball. McClanahan pushes the tempo to Wilson. Wilson from long range. No good. Leaper did a nice job blocking. Real Got nice. the guy on his hip with a rebound. He'll get it to Washington. He'll get it to Thomas. And JT's across the timeline. Back to Jerron in the paint. Took it hard to the rack. Has his shot blocked. See, he's... Well, that's not what he's in there for. No. He's an offensive prowess. That's for darn sure. Back the other way. The Mavs fall away jumper by Outler. Outler averages 8.9 a game, and he's off to a good start as he's got eight points already. 22-15 as the pace picks up here at the Stevens Center. And all of a sudden, UTA has got three of eight from the three, which is 37%, which is a positive compared to two-point attempts. And in that transition, they're able to get into the flow offensively, and Steve Shields, once a 30-second timeout to talk to his team about that exact same thing. Ray, I think this is a great timeout here because he's going to remind Washington why I even put him in the game. He's going to remind our team of how we got a 13-point lead at one time. That's running the offense and checking that pass number five through nine. UTA has turned the ball over eight times. We haven't turned it over, I don't believe. Well, let's see. Let me look at it real quickly. Nope. ULR has not turned it over at all. And and that's been good. But I'll tell you one of the reasons we probably hadn't turned it over. We had a stretch in there where we shot it too quick. Uh, that is that is true. That eliminates turnovers. And I've heard a lot of coaches justify quick shots to eliminate turnovers. All right. 14 on the shot clock. Trojans with it. Thomas out front to Isom, who just checked in to Washington right side. Eight on the shot clock, way out front. ULR's got to do something with it. Thomas puts one up with four seconds on the shot clock just to get one off. And oh. Maps come up with a rebound. And here they come quickly down the floor. Neal with it over in front of the Trojan bench to Outler to Ganey. Charles with it from Ganey. And they'll get the Trojans for the hole as he tried to go, go by his man. And ULR reached out and grabbed him. Ray, one of the things, one of the coaches that, uh, or the assistant, at ULM told Coach Steve Shields after they played Arlington. Arlington, don't, you know, don't get too alarmed. They're, they're capable of getting out in front 15 points, and they're capable of you getting back in it without any problem. Neil turns it over as he threw it to a guy on the right side who had just vacated the spot. And so ULR gets a break. That's the eighth turnover against Texas Arlington. And ULR is yet to turn it over. Shot selection is going to be a key for ULR here in the last eight minutes of the first half. Thomas with it, top of the key, goes right side to Reed. Nothing doing there for James. Back to JT. JT knocks a guy down, no call. Isom from long range for three. In and out, no good. Charles with a rebound for the Mavs. Outlet pass to Neal, quickly down the floor. Outler, travel with it. His jump along the baseline is no good. Reese Hill, who checked in, clears the glass. He'll get it to JT. Thomas down the floor. And ULR's got to get in sync offensively here. Run your set, guys. Come up, come up with something good here. Washington way out front. Left side it goes to Reed. Arlington in his zone now, right? Uh, inside it goes to Hill. Reese in heavy traffic takes it hard to the glass. Wow. No foul call. 
Steve Shields can't believe that. Mavs with the basketball down the floor. Neal with it. He is a little guy, 5'11". Not the same as Devontae Smith when he's in there. He's going to shoot it. Three-point attempt by Charles. No good. Battle for the rebound. Thomas had it. Had it knocked away. Picked up by Ison. Back to JT. Boy, this has been a weird, weird last four or five minutes. I'll tell you that. No doubt. Trying to get into a flow. Reed thought about it from way out front. Into the corner. It goes to Ison. Most spots up for the three ball. Got it. See how the ball movement in, out, set instead of hesitating on that shot. 25-15 UALR as we near the six and a half minute mark. Out front, Charles with it. Off the dribble, Trojans in a man-to-man -man defense. And they'll call Charles for the offensive foul over in front of the ULR wow. bench. That's the third team foul against UTA. We got a media timeout, 6.28 to play in the half. It's ULR 25, Texas Arlington 15. Fox 16 is your breaking news leader. Anchors Donna Terrell and Kevin Kelly are the longest running duo in local news. With over 10 years of experience at giving you the most important news in Arkansas, Fox 16 keeps you informed. From politics in the capital city to what's going on in your own backyard. Plus clear, accurate, and dependable forecasts from award-winning meteorologist Jeff Baskin and sports with Wes Moore. Fox 16, your breaking news leader. This is Joe Klein, and like you, I'm busy this time of year. It's a good thing our family has Corky's to make our meal planning a lot easier. Let Corky's make the holiday season a little less stressful for you by ordering one of our delicious hams or turkeys. Our hardwood smoke honey glazed hams and turkeys are spiral cut and ready to serve and have the least amount of preservatives allowed by law. Makes them even taste better. So call us today and order one for yourself or as a gift for your friends and family. And tell them Big Joe sent you. Corky's ribs and barbecue. Family assets are nurtured one generation at a time. It's about understanding the objectives of each individual. Since 1933, Stevens has combined research and resources to help our clients attain their financial goals. As a result, some of our best clients have become our oldest friends. Stevens Private Client Group, member NYSE SIPC. ULR has led from the get-go. They lead Texas Arlington 25-15. We've got 6.28 to go in the half. Remember when your car was new? Well, you can get that feeling again by going to Splash Car Wash. They've got two convenient locations, 9500 Rodney Parham Road in Little Rock, but now on JFK in North Little Rock. Ray Tucker along with the coach, Bobby Bent. And I hope you don't have what I have. It's going around and not much I can do about it. Trojan with the basketball and a 10-point cushion. Texas Arlington showing it. 1-2-2. Two, two. Reed trying to be the zone buster. Got it. His second of the night. That might give him second thoughts about that. Leave him wide. Boy, he was way out there, too. Buddy. Way out there. Well, it was as far as the one he missed, but he was he was balanced, right? I, I tell you what, one, one, one more step out, and he's going to get a holy moly for the next one. <laughs> Out front, McClanahan with it. Trojans have done a nice job on him thus far. Inside the paint, the leaner. Shot is up no good wow. by Ganey. Tip up no good. Hill with the rebound. Outlet pass to Thomas. Dillard spotted up to the three ball. Very wisely. Gets it to Reed. Reed, who has a hot hand. That one's in and out. He, Devontae Smith was all the way from one end of the bench up to the scorer's table to cheer that one on. <laughs> McClanahan has his shot blocked. Oh, and they call a foul. Oh, my goodness oh, gracious. Oh, my goodness. Steve Shields just laying back with the laying back with his head, both hands behind his head. Oh, there you. <laughs> hey, that one was whoa, whoa, whoa. Lord have mercy. That is only the fourth team foul against ULR. The Mavs have three, and at the line, it is number 22, McClanahan. He averages 9.8, and he's got three in the game as he hits that free throw. Trojan basketball sponsored by Pepsi, the choice of the University of Arkansas at Little Rock. This is one that ULR needs in the worst way. Only eight teams make the Sun Belt Conference Tournament. ULR is in the bottom of the heap along with Troy, whom ULR beat on Thursday night. Just got to chip away and get back in the hunt. 
28-17, 5.22 to go. Thomas, left side, it goes to Dillard, to Hill. Reese has his foot on the line, feeds Dillard. Ben comes over screen, knocks it down. Ben slow getting to his feet. It's a three-pointer. McClanahan back the other way, and they'll get Reed for the block. And as we talked about, that transition defense, you got to get back down the floor in Arlington. That's their game. James was set, but the offensive player is smart. He attacked his his left shoulder, the one on the right is we're facing the James, and that's foul on James. That's all there is. That's a great offensive move. It is. And McClanahan's back at the line where he hit two just a moment ago, make it three in a row. Delivered right to your door seven days a week, the sports section of the Arkansas Democrat Gazette, Arkansas's largest newspaper. Leaper will check back in for ULR in just a moment. Right. Go ahead, Bobby. Well, the challenge that they present, it's like if you look at what we talked about, they love to, to drive the ball. So you're you're really trying to create a little cushion to keep them from getting around you. At the same time, when you do that, they'll quickly shoot those threes. We saw them have a flurry of three there about five minutes ago. So they present a lot of and they can hit them. Both the free throws were good. Thomas will bring it down for UALR. Working against Neal. JT takes it out of control in the paint. And they'll get Texas Arlington for the block. And the Trojans very fortunate there. Uh, JT made his mind up what he was going to do, you know, way out here before he got to the three-point line. And we we're very fortunate. And I had no idea what he was trying to do, Ray. There was three orange jerseys that he went straight at. Good, because he didn't either. <laughs> didn't appear that he did. Bless his heart. He is at the line to shoot free throws, and the first one is good. JT's numbers on the year, he's got to get those up, 56%. Junior out of New Orleans makes them both. 33-19 ULR, that's Thomas's first points of the night. Neal will literally walk it down this time for Texas Arlington. Backdoor cut to McClanahan, reverse layup, got it. Well, he got away from his guy and got him an easy two. Back the other way, he deflects a pass. Knocks over a row of chairs. The high dollar seats. Boy, that kid is athletic, isn't he? He is. He's, uh, he's, got, he's got a motor like DeAndre Williams that played here a few years ago. Oh, Lord. He's a great one. Thomas will inbounds it. Trojans lead it 33-21. Deeper. Is checked into the game. He gets the inbounds pass. Gets it to Reed way out beyond the three-point arc. Reed will drop it off to Dillard. Ben from way downtown. No good. Work the ball inside, guys. Let, let the big guys touch it at least once. Back the other way. Wide open for the three. Ganey on the right side. And they make a living off that right side. And Steve Shields is irritated with his basketball team as they gave up another three. And a guy was wide open. 33-24. Trojans leading. Well, that's, you know... It's like they don't remember what they've emphasized and what was a little bit successful for when they got out in them, you know, and ran them off that three-point line early when they were one for six. Now they're four for 11. Uh, golly, that, that just, it, it just irritates coaches when you can't stick to the game plan and trust what the coaches spend a lot of time reviewing film, looking at stats. They just didn't come up with that. You can't let them shoot the ball from the three-point line. UTA as a team shoots 34% on threes, and ULR's opponents shoot 38%. We'll give you a latest stat on those guys in a second of what they're shooting from three. Bobby, you can pick it up over there real quickly off that monitor if you would. They're, sure, they're shooting 36.4% right now. Thomas has it, looks to penetrate, gets it to Reed from way downtown. His third and right. Bombs away for James Reed tonight. He's got nine points, all of them on threes. 36-24. Love to see him play like that every night. There's a deflection by UALR. Dillard down the floor. 2-0-1 break. Ben from the left side. Can't get it to go. Reed tips it in. And they call a foul against Texas San Antonio. Excuse me. Texas Arlington. I, have I been calling him Texas San Antonio? I hope. No. No, you haven't. And we got a pause in the action. 3.47 to play. Trojans lead it 36-24 as I try to get my voice back. Watch the video screen. Let's see lots of 
Red stores, convenient, safe, and family friendly. Stop by today and save three ways. You can save 10 cents off per gallon with the purchase of a car wash, 5 cents off when you use your Valero credit card, and Big Mondays allow you to get premium gas for regular mid-grade prices every Monday. Visit a Big Red store today and get Baskin Robbins, McDonald's, Burger King. We've still got zero turnovers and they've got 10. So stop by and save today. We're shooting 43%. They're shooting 42. And we lead it by 12. We're out rebounding. Eight goals in the third game. The turnovers is the key thing here. The second round is off for over 20 years. Come by before the games and enjoy a quick chocolate grilled steak, or sit back and enjoy a six for 14 from the three for us. Four, but you wouldn't believe the rest of our menu. Even four of 11 is satisfied with what we have to offer. Come out to the butcher shop before the next home game. Sit back and enjoy a great meal. Then take 10 minutes and head to the Jack Stevens Center to cheer the Trojans on to another win. Do you know what time it is? If you don't, head to the Timex Outlet Store for all your needs. They carry a full line of men, Daniel. women, and kids' yeah. watches, casual sports, out. or dress wear. Check out all their sports right. products, runners' watches, heart rate, speed, and distance monitors. The Timex Outlet Store is open oh, to the public and is located in North Little Rock on Pike Avenue next to Colson Oil. They're open Monday through Friday from 9 to 4. Call 370-5700 for special sale dates. Timex, it takes a licking and keeps on ticking. 36-24 our score, ULR leading Texas Arlington with 3.47 to go here in the half. Texas Arlington is 4 of 11 on threes. ULR, on the other hand, is 6 of 14. And at the free throw line is Ben Dillard, who is an excellent free throw shooter. Not looking to jinx the senior. Free throw is up, and it is good. Ben's got a half a dozen points on the night. James Reed leading UALR with nine all of them. He's got three threes. Dillard makes both the free throws. 38-24. It is Thomas Woods, Leeper, Dillard, and Reed for UALR. Steve Shields has a, he has more combos than Burger King. McClanahan got him a running start out front. Keeps his dribble alive. Now he'll get rid of it. Gets it to Wilson. And they will call... Texas Arlington for the foul, Bilbo and Leeper going at it inside the paint. And they'll get Bilbo for reaching around the Leeper. Let's see, Bilbo, that's number two on him. And Scott Cross is not happy with that call at all. <laughs> Bilbo, where's he going? Oh, he's gonna, he's hollering at the official. I can't believe they didn't tee him up. I can't either. That's unbelievable. I've not seen a player do that in a while. I've never seen a guy so openly. I, I'm not real sure about the call either. Uh, Leeper gave it up. Got it from Thomas. Gave it back to him. Dillard from way downtown. Ben can't get it go. Come on, guys. You got the big guys in the game. Work the ball inside. What am I trying to do? Coach here. Down the paint. Runner is up. No good. Dillard with a rebound for UALR. All the Trojans have hit some threes. A.T. Thomas thought about it. Out front it comes to Reed. Gosh. Turns geez. it over. Tried to force it inside the leaper. Did not have the right angle. And here comes McClanahan right down the middle of the lane. And let's see who that fouls on. If it's on leaper, it'll be number two on Gus. If it's on Dillard, it'll be number it's two on, on him. Ben Dillard. It's on Dillard, number two on him. And the Trojans, Bobby, as you talked about, did not slow the basketball down. No, and... I think it's pretty obvious the intentions for Arlington to push it extremely hard after a miss but go. Or, now that was a turnover up in the floor a little bit. McClanahan back of the line where he's perfect on the night. Well, he's he missed, missed one. He missed one. He made six or five. Yeah, he's five out of six. I don't remember him missing one, but that's what the, this line says. Yeah, he's making a living at the free throw line. I'm telling you. 38-25. And Clanahan gets one more, and he makes it. 2.41 to go. Trojans got to pick it up a little bit here. And want to make sure you go to the locker room with a nice lead. Love to go there with a double-digit lead. Smith is checked back in for UALR, as has Hagens. Left side, Devontae with it. Boy, he is quick as a hiccup, as Paul Eels used to say. He'll go out front to Hagens with it. 12 on the shot clock. Josh penetrates 
off the glass, shot's no good. Leeper got the rebound, and then he shoved the guy down as the guy tried to reach in, and so Gus picks up number two. Now that's that's about as crazy a foul as you'll ever right. see. I, I just don't understand that. I, I do not understand how Gus thinks that he can get away with that kind of just pushing the guy off of it. He secured the ball with one hand and took the free hand and just shoved the guy away. The guy was trying to reach in to get it. And he'll go to the bench and ice him back into the game with 2.07 to play. Herbie with it out front, gets it to McClanahan. McClanahan trying to go baseline, and he does so. It made that look real easy. That's his 12th point of the night. 38-28, and McClanahan on the season averages 9.8, making him look like an all-star. Smith cut off out front, looking to penetrate. He just bounces around like a ping-pong ball. He is quick as can be. Minute 40 to play, 38-28, Trojans by two. Where's DeMonte going with the I basketball? I don't know, but he got fouled. He got tripped up, and that's the seventh team foul, so he'll go the line and shoot a one-and-one, one. and if you're Texas Arlington, UTA, uh, not a bad foul since he doesn't shoot free throws well. Exactly. He's got to shoot, make these two, though. Improve your financial life at Arkansas Federal Credit Union, the official credit union of UALR. Free throw is good by Devontae. 39-28. He's got three points on the evening. His numbers at the line, he shoots 37%. Missed that one, got his own rebound, and had his shot blocked. Wow. McClanahan quickly back the other way. alley -oop. Wide of the mark. Ison with the rebound for UALR. A minute 24 to go. Boy, they don't waste any time getting that ball down the floor, do they? Nope. Higgins may have gotten by with the travel. Ison way downtown for three. No good. Guys, look at, this. Look at Devontae Smith. He goes in and picks their pocket. And gets him a fresh 35. Where did he come from? I don't know. I'm like you. I, I said Superman last week, but I think it is Spider-Man. Yeah, he's like Spider-Man out there. And he'll stick to you on the other end. Isom thought about one from way downtown Lord. in the A range. Work the ball inside, guys. Hagen's with it. Off the dribble. Stepped on the end line. How many times have we seen him do that? Too many. It's just unbelievable. Andre Brown, number one. Steve Shields is beside himself over there. We got a 30-second timeout with 50.4 to play, and the Trojans up 39-28. That's a possession where you want to run some time off the clock, oh. Coach, and get a good shot. Well, one of the things that one of the keys that Coach Shield shared with me was offensive patience. I don't care if we're up 30. I don't care if it's one-point game. Obviously, we had not finished first half. We need to maintain that philosophy. That's what we think is going to give us a better chance of winning the game and you know I don't know if we've done that the first half to the extent that coach is going to be pleased with it. We made some shots but we missed a bunch of shots but I look up there and Arlington's only got 17 fouls. Uh, if, we're, if we're taking the ball inside and taking it to the hoop they ought to have more fouls than that. We've got seven because they're, they're driving it to the to the rim. Maps get the basketball back, and here they come. Down by 11. Neal with it. He'll back it out. Their guards are very, very solid. A lot of motion out front. Monte Smith knocks it out of Neal's hand. Neal got it right back. He'll take it. Kicks it out. For the three on the right side, shot is no good. Ganey on the miss, Reed on the rebound for UALR. Devontae Jump Smith will walk it down, and Trojans will hopefully take the final shot of the half. They lead it by 11. Smith has it on the right side. Out front it comes to Reed. To Hagens. Josh looks to Steve Shields, and Shields says, get it to Smith. And so Devontae has it off the dribble. Seven on the shot clock. Hagens way out front. Josh... Get it to Reed, gets it to Reed. Reed, a leaner at the buzzer, off the side of the iron, no good. And the Trojans got your half -time score, it's not your Trojans, a very good shot. A Texas little confusion is what they wanted to do there, Coach. Well, Josh just handled the ball too long. you got to get into it quicker than that when there's four seconds. I mean, I don't think Reed had any choice but try to get it off, and that was obvious. That, that, wasn't, that wasn't good. But 
Ray, I, I'll say this. It's a 40-minute game. We have to sustain what we did the first 10 minutes more than we even did in the first half because I'm telling you, 11-point lead to this team is nothing. I mean, a deficit to Arlington is nothing, the way they have played uh, in the conference games up to this point. And we've seen teams explode with a lot of points in the second half. For example, Arkansas averages 70 a game. They scored 28 here in the first half. Hey, they, they, can go off, they can go off and get 60 on you in the second half if you don't watch it. Absolutely. And we, we've got the, the score 0-0 zero, zero. as far as the coaches are concerned. We've got to make sure the players understand why that's got to be the case. And that's the way you have to approach the second 20 minutes of the contest. Our halftime score, ULR leads UTA. 39-28. Up next, it's the Farm Bureau Insurance Halftime Show. Arrow Coach Lines is ready to take you and your group on your next trip. Whether it's one day to Oakland or one week to Florida, Arrow Coach Line will meet your needs. 47 to 56 passenger coaches are available for charter service. Our motor coaches come equipped with DVD systems and Internet access is available. We have added a new 16-passenger Sprinter van to our fleet, which is ideal for local service or airport transfers. Call 663-6002. Arrow Coach Lines, a family-owned and operated business for over 65 years. You're born amazing, and at Baptist Health, we want to keep you that way. In fact, that's our mission, to not only provide the most skilled doctors and nurses to heal you from sickness or injury, and comprehensive care to support your recovery, but also to be your guide to health. Also, you can keep on inspiring, keep on reaching, and keep on amazing. See some of Baptist Health's amazing stories at keeponamazing.com. That time of year, are you getting ready for that big cleaning job? Maybe you're re-waxing the floor or just looking for vacuum cleaner or mops or buckets? Find everything you need at Brown Janitor Support. They're proud to offer a broad line of triple S and national brand chemicals. There's no job too big or small for Brown Janitor Supply. They're easy to get to. You can find them at 3509 Asher Avenue in Little Rock. Or you can check them out on the web, brownjanitorsupply.com. Get by and see and make that cleanup a lot easier. Record holder in many sports and in many of it's time for the Southern Farm Bureau Insurance Halftime Show. At intermission, UALR leading Texas Arlington 39-28. Bobby, we talked a little bit before we went to the break about what was going on. I do want to say this the noise uh, sounds you hear in the background, not the noise. Um, it is the Letterman's weekend here, and so a number of Letterman are back, and Dave Woodman's down there serving as the uh, MC and introducing all the folks, so we won't get into in, deeply into that. But uh, ULR, as we said, Bobby, and we always say this, and I know that, how important it is to get off to a good start tonight. ULR got off to a good start. Well, that's a step in the right direction, no doubt, Ray, and I think, I think <clears throat> by inserting Devontae in the lineup, and uh, having a little success the other night in the second half. Uh, maybe coming into more of a realiz realization that James not White's not going to be with us, so we've got to circle the wagons. And uh, I think that, that helps promote what we saw the first half. I, I, I want to say, though, you know, if we're going to be as good as we can be, we, we can still have better and more extended minutes and sustain the effort that we saw in the first half uh, we're going to have to have that and we can do that we just got to have that focus to uh, carry on the rest of the season alright let's take a look at some numbers here ULR from the field 13 of 35 37% 6 of 17 on threes and 7 of 8 at the free throw line 87% the Mavs, on the other hand, 9 of 23, 39%. They hit 4 of 12 threes, 33%. And 6 of 7 free throws, 85%. Battle of the boards, even at 19 apiece. And the stat, Bobby, that really jumps out at you is UTA turned it over 12 times and ULR just three times. Yeah, that's, that's huge. And that may be the difference in the game right now because out of those nine... Uh, Turnovers are the difference in the turnovers. Not those nine possessions, you know, if we're shooting uh, 37%, that's three field goals, so that's six to nine points or 
whatever. So that's close to what the, the deficit or the difference in the game is. Uh, this is something that I always like to say. Uh, the lead did not change hands at all in the first half. UALR led uh, throughout the first half and is up here at the break. In the paint, they're even at eight apiece off turnovers. ULR 12 4. Uh, fast break points 4 0 Trojans. And ULR's bench won that battle 14 13. Individual scoring, uh, let's see. Texas Arlington McClanahan leads the way with 12. He with 12, and six of those came at the free throw line. So overall, Bobby, they've done a pretty good job on containing them. Well, they have. They have. I mean, I know I sound critical in the broadcast because I want every play to be perfect, but quite honestly, that's where you got to approach it. Uh, and easy for me to say, but you certainly don't want to applaud poor decisions and poor play, and I think overall our first half performance deserves an 11-point lead, no doubt. Outler came off the bench to score eight for UTA. Uh, for UALR, let's see, leading the way, Ben Dillard with seven, Ben's two of six from the field, one of four on threes, and has a pair of free throws. Oops, excuse me. James Reed has nine to lead UALR. My apologies to James. He is three of six from the field. One of those was a garbage shot at the buzzer uh, as he leaned yeah. into the guy trying to get it, get it, three free throws out of it and, and didn't get that. Uh, rounding out scoring for UALR, Woods has six, Leeper has four, Higgins has five, Smith has three. Thomas has a couple of points. Rick Isom has three. And we made mention of Reed and Higgins. We'll take another pause here on the Farm Bureau Insurance Halftime Show. Trojans lead at 39-28. At Stevens, our philosophy is to invest every dollar as if it were our own. To seize opportunity. To anticipate rather than react to deliver constant focus in an ever-changing world and to pursue the objectives of our clients in order to help them reach their financial it, goals. They're not updating that ULM score yet. Helping companies and individuals. Stevens, member NYSE, SIPC. Voluntary benefits from Transamerica Life Insurance Company can help recruit qualified applicants and keep seasoned employees. Transamerica offers group health insurance benefits that can help offset costs not covered by major medical. We also offer a strong portfolio of group life insurance. Voluntary benefits let your employees decide what benefits are best for them and can be offered at little or no cost to you. Ask your Transamerica Benefit Advisor how the power of voluntary benefits can help your dream team. Learn more at www.transamericaemployeebenefits.com. After a Trojans game, Dugan's Pub is the place to celebrate. Rockin' the block and the third block. A friendly, fun, familiar spot. The Irish pub with the food so fine. Where downtown meets the Emerald Isle. All your friends are dining. All your friends are drinking. All your friends are loving it here at Dugan's Pub. Your way on business and your family is home alone. How do you protect them? Easy. You call Triple S Alarm Company Incorporated at 501-664-4599 and let them provide your loved ones with a quality fire and security system. A locally owned and operated company with 30 plus years experience, Triple S Alarm Company provides on-site monitoring, professional customer service, and peace of mind. Call Triple S Alarm Company at 664-4599 today and leave your family in the hands of a professional security company. Back at the Jack Stevens Center, here at Trojans, leading Texas Arlington, 39-28. Again, congratulations to Joe Foley's Lady Trojans. They are on a tear. They are 9-0, only unbeaten team in, on the women's side in Sunbelt play. And they are 16-2 on the season. And they won today 66-38. That sets up a big showdown Thursday night at the Convocation Center in Jonesboro. And that will be, uh, I would expect a good crowd for that one, Bobby. I would think so. They they really follow their women up there. And I was talking to Alicia, the lady assistant, played for Coach Foley and been with him for a long period of time. Uh, she thinks that their Arkansas State's very capable if they get into their game. Uh, they've got some prolific scores and uh, they're always well motivated when UALR comes up there and. And uh, they haven't had the 
success that they like, but they've had a little. Nobody's had much in the past 12, 13 years against uh, Coach Foley. But uh, uh, I think, you know, one of Joe Foley's strengths is reminding and convincing his basketball team every day what it takes to be successful and, and that you can't have any slippage. And when you leave the practice floor every day, you've got to be just a little bit better in some aspect of the game. And, and it's all mentally. Ray, you got to be convinced of that first, mentally. Everything you do goes through the brain. So your brain's got to accept and, and, and spit it out correctly so you can physically uh, do what it wants you to do. And, and I think that's a obviously he's got more strengths than I can even uh, say. But one of those great strengths is keeping his kids on edge, improving from day to day in every aspect of the game. Coach Foley has convinced his kid, he's convinced, number one, that you either get a little bit better every day or you get a little worse. Nothing stays, stays the same. And, uh that's going to be a heck of a challenge for him. Uh, maybe the biggest one he's had so far in conference play. I was uh, trying to run down a score on the uh, uh, Louisiana Monroe game that uh, started uh, a little bit before this one, and I failed to do so. Uh, one score from earlier today, uh, Georgia State was a winner, and they were at home, and Georgia State beat Lafayette, which was a, a big game. And as we said, there is so much parity in this league that's absolutely incredible. Oh, right. gosh, if you look at... All right, let me do this before we go off on sure. that. Uh, let's go ahead and take, uh, take a break. I think we've got one more left. Uh, we'll take this break, and then we'll talk about that. The sound of squeaking shoes racing down the court. Everyone holding their breath for the free throw. Then exhaling and shouts when the ball falls through the net. Sherry Nacho and chanting every cheer by heart, always supporting the home team, no matter the score. Fans are loyal in Arkansas. It makes us proud to be loyal, too. For more than 80 years, First Security has been investing in our home state and nowhere else. First Security Bank, only in Arkansas. Never at the IC. The Buffalo Grill Restaurant has been around for a long time in Central Arkansas, but if you have never eaten there, you have really missed some great food. Their hamburgers are the best in town, and they also serve some great sandwiches. If you are a salad lover, try the traditional chef salad. You can't go wrong with that choice. The Buffalo Grill is located at 1611 Rebsman Park Road. That's the Buffalo Grill, the place for your next lunch or dinner. Is this our last break? Uh, you'll have one more two-minute break. Oh, my goodness. What's the one thing you never have enough of? Well, I know it's got a stinger with it, but we may have to, we have to carry it over to the second half, okay? Okay, well, do you want me to go ahead and play the uh, and why it offers coupons next, uh, for hometown fresh dairy products with no artificial growth hormones. Because the more time you stay cooking or clipping, well, the you more time you can the line that's going into the second half. Uh, yeah, you can play it coming out of this, okay. out of this break. That'd, be, that'd work. Gotcha. Thank you. 30 seconds. fresh flavor. Strength is measured by the number of mm -hmm. Strength is placing value on relationships. It's they giving the vision and the guts to invest in growth. It's the commitment they, they, to they, they they manage your yeah. money. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's the only one who's yeah. 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 our strengths. Yeah. 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 Success, not only for us, but for our clients. Stevens, member NYSE, SIPC. UALR Basketball is on the air. Ray Tucker on with the coach Bobby Bent as we're just about set to start the second half. UALR leading Texas Arlington 39-28. Coach, we, uh, we can't stress enough. We always talk about the first four minutes of the second half and how important it is. Uh, you have an opportunity to widen your lead here if you're UALR. Uh, and if you're Texas San Antonio, you got to I said it right then. Texas Arlington, you got a chance to get right back in it. Absolutely, and that's why it's critical. And you know Arlington is going to be focused on this four minutes. They know what they're up against right now. There's a deficit. What we've got to do, Ray, and I'm not saying we have to build on this. I th I'd like to win the second half, just the second half by one point. They'd give us a 12-point victory. We've just got to play good enough and trade buckets with them or 
or counter anything that they do and be conscious of the fact that there's going to be a run. Just like they made against us when we had that 13-point lead and they cut it to seven. They're going to make some. Hopefully we'll have one. But we've got to counter their runs and we've got to try to... We, we've got to try to disrupt their runs. Basketball has turned into a game of runs and uh, Arlington's going to throw that ball in bounds uh, to start this second half. All right, they're clad in bright orange uniforms. They're shooting basket to our right. There's a backdoor wow. cut, set play, and that's um, McClanahan who gets the first bucket to start the second half, 39-30. That dress drives coaches crazy, allow him to do that. Devontae Smith penetrates, gets it to Leeper. Leeper with the left hand. He had a guy hanging all over his right arm. He shot it left-handed. Golly, that was a nice... Well, there wasn't any wasted motion. He goes up and gets it off. That's what you got to do. And within, <laughs> within his range. ULR opens in a man-to-man -man defense. McClanahan off the dribble. Leeper cut him off, wraparound pass, and he'll get Dillard for the reach-in. That'll be number three on Ben. Well, you know, ULM, I mean, uh, Arlington did not show this 1-4 uh, offensive set where you, you're setting that defense up for that back door. They didn't show that particular give and go. And, uh, well, you got to be ready for it. Uh, Josh Hagan's into the lineup in place of Dillard after Ben picked up his third personal. Into the corner, wide open is Ganey. His shot's no good. Leeper tips the ball and goes... Out of bounds, and they say it was last touched by the guys in orange. Wow, I, I don't understand why Gus doesn't go up with both hands and grab the ball. Well, that, that one I thought he had to reach just a little bit for. We got a break there, but we got the ball. Devontae Smith. Ooh, he got by with a the carry there. He wrapped that thing all the way around. Reed, right side, leaper out front. Left side comes to Devontae. He will not take that three-point shot. His career high is 17. I've seen him hit three in a row before. Roger Woods, top of the circle, puts it on the floor, takes it hard to the rack, driving a layup, call did not go. Roger draws the foul, and he'll go to the line to shoot two. That foul is on Bilbo, and that's number three on him. All right. Uh, Devontae's been told, here's your job description. Make sure all four guys that are playing on the floor when you do touch the ball before you do anything but drive it to the bucket. That's why he's doing that. And when we when we have that kind of uh, ball movement, goes from side to side, and then he drives, well, you know, we're putting a team foul, a individual foul, and two points on the – did we make them both? Roger Woods made one of the two. One of the two. He's got seven on the night. Trojans by 12. As Bobby told you, we're looking something different offensively that uh, UTA is, is running. McClanahan beyond the free throw line gets it left side to Charles. Trapped in the corner, kicks it out front to Neal. He'll get a touch. They want McClanahan to have it. Neal out front, nine on the shot clock, eight, seven. Picked up by Hagens. Don't foul. Kicks oh. it right side. Three point attempt is up, no good. Woods with a rebound for UALR. That was Ganey on the miss. That's as good a defensive series as we've had all year. Left side, it comes to Hagens. Josh took it all the way down the baseline and curls it back out. Gets it to Roger Woods, who will hand it back to Hagens. Right side, it goes to Smith. Top of the circle, Woods with it. Inside, it goes to Leeper. Gus backs his way down, working against Bilbo, and Gus put up a brick. Ball's on the floor. Picked up by Double UTA. Triple. Long pass down the floor. It goes to McClanahan, the leader over Leeper. Got it. At least Gus didn't pick up his third personal. 42-32, and that's exactly what UTA, the way they want to play the game. Arlington's in a man-for-man -man defense, Ray. And, and we tried to force it inside the leaper, and Trojan turned it over again. Devontae Smith, though, steals it back for UALR. A three-on-two break. Left side reads, spots up for the three ball. No good. Wow. Ganey with a rebound outlet pass to McClanahan. Here he comes. He is flat faster than lightning. Ganey out front. And they call Roger Woods for the block. And Ganey hits the floor hard and hurts his left elbow. And that is number one, the first foul on Woods. 
Second team foul against UALR, so it's a non-shooting foul. Right side of the bucket they will put it in play. This is one that UALR has to have. They are just 2-6 and six in conference play. UTA is 5-3. and three. In the middle of the pack, it's going to get thick before it's all over with. McClanahan will inbounds it. Does so out front to Neal. Little guy takes it. Gets it in the corner to Charles. Charles is cut off. A uh, late whistle by the official as Reed stepped over and took the angle away, but made the contact. They'll call him for the foul. Yeah, that was real late. And that's three on James. So Reed picks up his third personal. Hillard's on the bench, having picked up his third. Marik Isom is the replacement for Reed. Inbounds underneath it goes, and Woods slaps it out of there. McClanahan double double faked him, and Rogers stayed on the floor waiting on him. And of course, Woods has a height advantage, and when he finally went up, he just slapped it over all the way over the bench. Yeah, you, Rogers got extremely long arms, and Clanahan's about six one, I think, six two. Charles having problems getting in bounds. Now they do so out front. McClanahan with it. Hagens in the lineup for UALR along with Smith. Those are the two guards. It's Woods, Leeper, and Isom, the forwards for the Trojans. ULR in a 2-3 zone, right? Neal penetrates. The floater just inside the free throw line is good. Neal's a freshman. 42-34. They've got it in single digits, and that's where they want it. And you try to whittle away from this point on if you're UTA. You can't get it all back at once. Trojans a little stagnant on the offensive end here. Not moving the ball much at all. Isom, top of the circle, left side to Hagens. Josh to Woods. Roger, strong to the baseline, kicks it. Isom, three ball, no good. And we hit the back of the iron, just went dead. Here comes Neal for UTA to Charles, back to Neal, out front. Bilbo sets a screen on Hagens. They double team him out front and falls down as he throws it away. Charles on the right side, three pointer is good. And give credit to UTA. They've come out smoking here in the second half and doing some good things. And ULR is having some problems making the adjustment. No it, doubt. And they're in a, I start to say 2-3 zone, but they're in man for man. It's a five-point game. ULR led by 11 at the break. Isom gets tripped up. And that's team foul number two against UTA. Let's see who the foul's on. If that, that's on a clan hand and a B3 on him. Wow. We'll, we'll check that when we come back. Media timeout, 15.20 to go. Trojans lead it, 42-37. What's the one thing you never have enough of? Time. Highland Dairy understands. That's why HighlandDairy.com is packed with recipes and why it offers coupons for hometown fresh dairy products with no artificial growth hormones. Because the more time you save cooking or clipping, the more time you can spend on the important things in your life. Visit HighlandDairy.com to find out more. Highland. It's a splash of fresh flavor. For in-depth sports coverage before and after the game, don't miss a single edition of the Arkansas Democrat Gazette. From Trojans to Hogs to Bears, the state's largest newspaper brings you scouting report, coaches and interviews, player features, as well as insights to upcoming games and post-game reviews. And now high school fans can keep up with their favorite teams and players at ARPreps.com in addition to all the daily coverage. Pick up your copy of the Arkansas Democrat Gazette and stands all over the state, or subscribe today by calling 501-378-3456. Sports fans get all the sports news in the Arkansas Democrat Bill Rogers, Capital Business Machine. At Capital Business Machines, we provide the latest cutting-edge technology to meet all your office needs. Our experienced professionals will help you gain control over those mounds of office paperwork so your business can be more efficient and effective. Give us the opportunity to add you to our growing family of satisfied customers again. That's Capital Business Machines, 375-1111. We talk about basketball as a game of runs, and just like that, it only takes a couple of shots, Coach V, and another team gets right back in it. Trojans had them down by double figures, and now it's a five-point game. But, you know, you can watch them. They had some spurts in the first half. I'm talking about Arlington, where they showed all the things that's gotten them 5-3 and three record in the conference, and, man, they started really exploiting those skills, and we just got to counter some of them with a bucket or stop some of them. All right, that foul was on McClanahan, and he has three. 
Hagen's with it for UALR, the floater. And Josh gets it to go. He can be instant offense here in the second half. UALR is one, excuse me, two of five. And Texas Arlington is four of seven from the field. That's how they've gotten back in this baby. ULR's got to suck it up on the defensive end. Long range for Neal over the top of Hagens. Josh backed off just one step. The little guy made him pay as he drains the three. He's got five on the night, 44-40. Talked about whittling away. Well, that was a tough shot, right? Well, it was. Lord of mercy. Leeper got it from ice and gave it right back to him. He'll get it to Hagens. Josh comes over the top. Left side, it comes to... Smith, Devontae will get it to Woods. Back to Devontae. He penetrates, takes it in, underhand layup. Can't finish it. Leaper kept it alive, but Bilbo comes out of the pack when it gets it in the hand. He'll push it. Trojan's got to get back into the hands of Neal. It comes. He hit the three just a second ago. He averages 3.9 a game. He's got five fallaway jumpers. No good. Isom's there with a rebound. He'll get it to Hagens and Josh quickly across the timeline. He'll get it to Isom, spots up for the three. Trojans need it and got it. Rick Isom at 6'8", standing way out front. He didn't hold that thing up high, Bobby. Keeps it right there about chin level and shoots it. Well, I always thought that might be a problem if he was closer to the bucket, which it is somewhat, but that far out, I guess he can get away with it. Yes, he can. 47-40, UALR leads it. Bilbo out front. Right side, it comes to Charles. Charles looking inside, nothing there. Back out front to McClanahan. Off the dribble, don't let him get going. Takes it right at Leeper, shoots it over the top, no good. Leeper kept it alive, then stepped on the end line as he went to get it. He's got to, he's got to be able to grab the ball, coach. Absolutely, I he's batting it around like a volleyball player too often. Well, Gus just has some difficulty with his coordination with both hands on the basketball. Now what we got? Oh, they called. Gus for a foul. That's not a. That's number three on Gus. I didn't see that one, Coach. I wasn't looking oh, on the inside. Oh, I did. Forty-five just went straight to the bucket. Gus just had both hands up, and the guy ran into him, and that's that's just not right. It's a no call. Well, that's a fourteen foul against ULR. Two against UTA. Neil gave it up, got it right back, and drains a three. Is that his third three? The second half? I uh, know it's two. Wow. They didn't put his points on the board. I do know that. 47-43. Four-point game. Another nail-biter here at the Jack Stevens Center. We're used to those. A lot of time left in this baby, though. 13 minutes to go. Hagen's with it. Don't let the offense get bogged down. He seals checked in. He shoots free throw line extended. Can't get it to go. Battle for the rebound. Last touch by the Babs. That thing bounced about four times, and everybody's timing was thrown off, and yeah. then it went off of a UTA player. Thomas into the lineup for Hagens. Left-hand corner comes to JT out front to Isom. Top of the circle to Reese Hill. Reese will put it on the floor and take it to the rack, and he put up an air ball. He missed that by two feet. What in the world was that? ULR appears to be out of sync offensively right now. Charles left side for three. Got it. Wow, four things can turn around in a hurry. And Steve Shields wants a timeout with 12.34 to play and his team clinging to a one-point lead. Coach. Well, it's just like the assistant at ULM uh, told Steve Shields. They're good friends, and he talked to him after the game the other night, and he said, uh, you know, Arlington is more than capable of uh, – don't be – don't – Get, don't relax when they're up 15 on you because uh, or behind you, behind 15. Either one, because uh, you'll have a chance to you'll have a chance to get back in it if they're ahead. And if you're up 15, trust me, they will get back in it, which is evidenced by these scores and and the games that they played in the conference. So, you know, we go into half with a what 11 point lead, and uh, they've outscored us. Um, well, let's take a look at that. They about scored us in the second half. At, at halftime, it was... Um, 39-28. 39-28. So we've got 47-8. They about scored us 18-8. Ray, the first... Um, 
7 minutes and 26 seconds. 18 to 8 in 7 minutes. And that's not to say ULR can't go on a run of their own. Oh, no. But I will tell you this. Uh, oftentimes when you come from behind and you, you get over the hump and you get the lead, it's a totally different ball game. And they're playing with a great deal of confidence right now, and they should be. For UALR, it'll be Smith, Isom, Thomas, Woods, and Hill. Well, right now you can see we've seen enough of this Arlington team to know why uh, they <laughs> beat Bradley at Bradley 10 points. Texas only beat them 10 points, number six in the nation. And, and, and how they... Uh, had beaten UALM Thursday night. Uh, now we see why. Yeah, they're showing his showing his own here, Coach. Yep. Smith, right side. They don't look at him as a scoring threat. Offense. And they get Devontae for yeah. an offensive foul. They wrapped an arm around the guys and went by him, or to get by him. You don't see that very often. That's uh, first on Devontae. So the Trojans turn it over and give UTA an opportunity to grab the lead here for the first time tonight. Well, you'd like to see James Reed in there against his zone, but James has got three fouls, I think. He has three, as does Dillard and Leeper. So three Trojans in foul trouble. UTA, but not any, they don't really have any foul problems. Walker has checked in, 6-9 for them. Out front, it is Charles with it. Gets it right side to Outler. Outler hit a couple of threes in the first half. Shot's no good. Woods with a rebound and throws it away. Pass was intended for J.T. Thomas. It was like a quarterback throwing to a wide receiver, and he, he led him by about five feet too much. Wasn't any way in the world he could get to it. Media timeout, 11.59 to go in the game. ULR leads it, 47-46. Hey, Trojan fans. The Butcher Shop has been a longtime favorite dining place for Central Arkansas for over 20 years. Drop by before the games and enjoy a hickory charcoal grilled steak or sit back and enjoy a cold one. Steak may be what we're famous for, but you wouldn't believe the rest of our menu. Even chicken and fish lovers will be satisfied with what we have to offer. Come out to the butcher shop before the next home game. Sit back and enjoy a great meal. Then take 10 minutes and head to the Jack Stevens Center to cheer the Trojans on to another win. If you're planning a building or remodeling project, then make Kaufman Lumber Company part of the plan. We encourage you to take advantage of our combined 60-plus years of sales experience at our 5100 Asher Avenue location. Kaufman Lumber Company is also the exclusive modern windows distributor for the Little Rock area. Please visit Kaufman by Design, our showroom at 2511 West 7th Street for your custom Marvin windows and millwork needs. Get an example of the lost art of friendly customer service, and remember, you're never a number at Kaufman Lumber. If you keep a busy schedule and are in need of one place to shop rather than running all over town, try Lakewood Village in North Little Rock. It's one-stop shopping from head to toe. We offer the finest clothing and shoe stores to meet your needs. If you want to catch a movie or go to lunch or dinner, you can do that at Lakewood Village. Also available are doctors, dentists, and MRI specialists. If it's some leisure time you're looking for, then take a walk around the pavilion and lake for some exercise. That's Lakewood Village, your home away from home. Back here at the Jack Stevens Center, UALR was up 39-28 at intermission. We got 11.59 to play, and the Trojans' lead is now at 1. 47-46 our score. UALR has turned it over a number of times here in the second half. Well, I, I looked at that wrong, you, right? You looked at that wrong, so I just gave him wrong, well, wrong, wrong information. They, they turned it over three times. For, they've turned it over a couple of times here. There's a set play, alley-oop pass, and a slam dunk by Walker. Boy, he is long and rangy, and UTA has their first lead of the night, 48-47 with 11.42 to play. Let's see what the Trojans are made of here. On their home court, they are 6-4 and four on the year. They can ill afford to lose this one and let it slip away. Roger Woods takes it right at the big guy and has it rejected, and the ball goes off of Roger's head. And the local fans wanted a foul call, and they don't get it. Now Woods at 6'5", took it right at Walker, who is 6'9". And he, if he's 6'9", he's got the reach of a 7-footer. I promise you that he is. And they got two guys out there right now. Hervey is 6'7". He's bigger than that. And UTA turns it over. Pass was intended for Charles in the right-hand corner, and I don't know where the heck that one went. Well, we, this is a pivotal time in the ballgame. We've got uh, 
We've got to score and then stop. You got our You got Arlington still in that two three zone, so they're gonna make us shoot the ball from the outside or try. And <laughs> Dillard is checked back into the game for ULR. He's a good three point shooter. Ben, top of the circle. Right side to Isom to Hill along the baseline. Kicks it out Dillard for the three. Nope. Nope, off the front of the iron. Battle for the rebound. UTA with it. That is Neil with it. He handles the ball exceptionally well. Quickly down the floor. Gets it to Outler on the right side and gets it right back. Here's spread new LR out on the offensive end. He'll go high post. Looking for the back door. Can't get it. Back to Neil it goes. He goes baseline. Kicks it out front. Stolen away by Thomas. Thomas waiting on Woods. Roger hard to the rack. He draws the foul and He'll go the line to shoot two. Good job by JT and making sure he can get it to Roger coming in from his strong side. Just got to make these free throws now. That's a start to get on a, uh, not a mini run, but a major run. Foul is on Outler, his first. That's the third team foul. For UTA, ULR has five. Woods at the stripe. He's a good free throw shooter. And that one is good. Eric Coach Lines, the safest bus going, the official bus line of ULR Athletics. McClanahan checks back into the game, right? Give me some good news, would you? Yeah. Roger Woods makes one of the two. Walker with the rebound. We are tied at 48. 10 15 to play. Almost a must win for UALR. So we talked about earlier, eight teams go to the postseason tournament this year in New Orleans. So that leaves three teams out. McClanahan did a lot of dribbling, takes it down the left side, and they call a foul against Reese Hill. Boy, did they on, set that up and know me. what they were doing? That's on Thomas, not Hill, excuse me. Oh. Yeah, they did. And the difference right now, they're running their offense and ULR is not. Absolutely. Absolutely. And they're putting team fouls and individual fouls and shooting unmolested free throws. Uncontested free throws. Thank you, Leaving. Charles goes out of the game. He's replaced by Wilson, a 6'2 freshman from Lancaster, Texas. And Andre Brown will check in for ULR and place a Reese Hill. And Andre Brown has played very little this year. He's a big body. And Trojans with some foul problems. And McClanahan has 15 on the night. Make it 16, and a bunch of those have come at the free throw line. 50-48, Trojans trail by two. One three one zone now by no, it's a two three. They just they're in a one one three, what we call one one three. They're gonna make ULR shoot it out on exactly. the floor. Exactly. Is what they want to do. Thomas penetrates, gets to Dillard, left baseline oh, jumper. Please. It's no good. Battle for the rebound. And Brown, who checked into the game, went up. Boy, I tell you what, he secured it, Bobby. He did. Yeah, he went down with it with a Arlington player. But possession error favors the Mavs. Higgins will check back in for UALR and place a Roger Woods. So we're looking at uh, Thomas Dillard and Higgins as the guards. Isom, swing player. Inbounds, it comes to Isom, cross court to Higgins. 9.35 to go, Josh directing traffic, gives up his dribble, he'll get it to Brown, who gives it right back to him. Left side to Dillard, then comes over a screen, out front to Dillard, excuse me, Higgins. Josh to JT, gave it up, got it right back, he'll try his luck for three-point land, no good. Ball goes off the side of the iron, all the way out of bounds, and it'll belong to Texas Arlington. Well, and if ULR's not going to make any shots, they're going to get beat, Coach. As you pointed out, you know, they're forcing us to shoot the ball outside. Of course, there's not an inside threat on the floor right now, so we either got to drive and, drive and kick or shoot a perimeter shot. We haven't been very successful lately. 50-48. UTA leads it out of the corner for three. Shot's no good. Brown battling for the rebound along with Herbie. And they say Brown was the last to touch it. And I I think the call was right. Fans yeah, don't like it. Good boys. ULR has got to get with it. I mean, their energy level's got to go up. 
Oh. And the guy on the far side made the call from underneath the opposite side of the basket with all those guys standing between him. I didn't see any foul. Well, you all are, it might have been a reach in there, but that guy's going to see it and not the guy right on top of it. Lord have mercy. It'll be Walker at the line. He shoots 58%. All these 58% free throw shooters and 35% free throw shooters shoot about 90% against us. Uh, that is correct. Lord. And Walker made the first. That's the 17th foul against ULR. Just three fouls called here in the second half against UTA. And Walker makes them both. And he's kind of going like, hey, I made them both. They are fired up. They lead it 52-48. They being the Mavs of Texas Arlington. Dillard out front. That's a very active zone. And not giving ULR anything good to look at. And as you said, there's no inside presence for the Trojans right now. Hagans wrap around to Isom. Excuse me. Make that Brown and Andre with his first basket of the season. 52-50. Long range three-pointer. Wow, back the other way. Outler, who doesn't even start. He's got 11. He averages eight. Hagans will try to match him on the other end. Got it. 55-53 as Josh Strange went from long range. There's an alley-oop pass. Now what? The ball went off the backboard. They yeah. call ULR for a foul. It was an alley-oop. What in the world is that? There's Hagen's three on the video board up there. But and back at the line is Walker, who made two a minute ago. All right, he shoots 58%, Bob. He's supposed to miss both these. That's right. And he missed it. It was the front end of a one and one. He didn't get two, excuse me. Stand corrected. Hagens for UAL all the way to the right. Driving layup is good. Five straight for Josh Hagens, and we're tied at 55 with eight minutes to play. Fans get their money's worth in this one. The pace has picked up tremendously. And they'll get McClanahan for the offensive foul, and that's number four on him with 7.52 to play. We got a media timeout. We got a barn murder going on here at the Jack Stevens Center. Trojans in Texas Arlington tied at 55. Bill Rogers, Capital Business Machines. For years, I've been telling people that we are big on service. The truth is, our digital Kyocera Mita copiers, printers, and fax machines require very little service. But when they do, you can depend on our friendly and professional service team to take care of your problem promptly and efficiently. So you see, we're still big on service when we need to be. That's Capital Business Machines, 375-1111. Hey, are you hungry? With more than 550 restaurants to choose from, Little Rock has something for every appetite and budget. And best of all, you'll never have to do the dishes again. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, delicious choices, and tons of variety anytime. Don't wait for a special occasion. Dine out today. To learn more about where to eat in Little Rock or to join our membership club, go to experiencelittlerockdining.com and bring your appetite. This message brought to you by the Little Rock Convention and Visitors Bureau. You're away on business and your family is home alone. How do you protect them? Easy. You call Triple S Alarm Company Incorporated at 501-664-4599 and let them provide your loved ones with a quality fire and security system. A locally owned and operated company with 30 plus years experience, Triple S Alarm Company provides Hello, guys. Come on. professional customer service and peace of mind. Call Triple S Alarm Company at 664-4599 today and leave your family in the hands of a professional security company. <laughs> well, I led it in a mission, 39-28. Texas Arlington came back and took the lead. We're tied at 55 with 7.52 to play. For ULR, coming back out on the floor is Hagens, Thomas, Dillard, Brown, and Isom, it looks like. Second half, ULR 6 of 16 from the field. 37.5%. Arlington's 9 of 16, 56%. That's how they've gotten back in it for the game. ULR shooting 37%, and the Males 46%. Trojans on the attack. Shooting basket to our left. Dillard takes it. Floater. And it is. That's up. And Steve Shields and Josh Klein cannot believe that's not goaltending. That, that, has, that could be nothing but goaltend. Wow, and this guy's yeah, got to get it going up before it comes down. Well, the ball was on its way down. That's why it was goaltending. Yeah, 
they, they, they don't it wanna, wasn't even close to the rim, yeah. though, I don't think, right? Uh, no, it was not. Inside Texas Gosh, Arlington God. with an easy two. And that was Walker who got the bucket. No, excuse me. That was Herbie who got the bucket. Hagens for three. Hard off the iron. Long rebound taken down by the Mavs. Walker with a board. 57-55. I know there's seven minutes left, but this is one of those where it may be every possession is crucial. ULR and a in the zone, Bobby? No, man for man. Man for man. Trapped in the corner. Wow. UTA oh, right. is, and they'll, they'll burn a timeout as they dribble it right into the corner and got pinned down there. And so we're 6.47 to play. We've got a 30-second timeout. We'll keep it here. UTA leads it, Bobby. 57-55. Exactly, and, boy, that was a smart timeout on their coach's part. I just question whether or not he called it before that ball released out of his player's hand, but uh, he knew he was in trouble, and that... I'm, you know, I'm not asked coaches this, but I've heard them comment on it, and I can't remember. I think they like that rule because it gives them a, an opportunity to bail their players out and their team out because uh, they're, they're standing right there by one of the officials. You know, back in the early days when I coached and everybody coached before 85, 86, or whenever they started using three officials, uh, there wouldn't be an official that close to the the coach during uh, live play so that was interesting it'll be UTA ball left side of the bucket with 13 on the shot clock they'll shoot a long range three. Oh my goodness gracious. and Isom ran over Hervey who shot the three that, that is happening about once a game now to UALR that's just not acceptable and Ray you know uh, it, it's unbelievable I I watch a lot of college basketball, and it's happening at least once a game in every game I watch. Yeah. I, I don't understand yeah. why young college players do not understand what closing out and running them off and challenging the shot. None of them block the shot, and they, they I guess they think they're going to. Hurry's made the first two, and he gets one more. Leaper will check in. Isom just picked up his third. Leaper comes back in. He has three personals, as does James Reed, who's checking in the lineup for ULR in place of Thomas. Hurry's a good-looking player. 6'7", a freshman out of Arlington. He is. And he makes all three free throws. Wow. And the Mavs have their biggest lead of the night at 5, 60-55. And remember that play. That's one that can turn a game around. Higgins with it down the floor for ULR. Left side it comes to Reed. Inside to Roger Woods who checked back in. And he had to go off of his leg. But it was last touched by Guy in Orange, a UTA player. Well, you've got to be strong if you're going to put it on the floor when you get it that close to the paint. And there's some size out on that floor for UTA. Inside it comes to Leaper. He just has it stripped away. But picked up by Reed out front to Higgins. And they get UTA for the foul. I thought Josh took an extra step. He did. And Walker commits the foul. That's the second on him. And only the fifth team foul against UTA. Higgins will pull the trigger for UALR on the left side. Lobs it out front to Dillard. Gets it right back to Higgins. Josh looking inside. Can't find anything there. Gets it to Woods. Gets it right back. Higgins kicks it out. Reed off the dribble. Reed can't get it to uh, go. Battle for the rebound. Walker comes out of there with it. He's been a difference. And UTA turned it over. Walker got in the air, didn't know what to do with it, threw it to the other guy, which was Adler. And Adler, going out of bounds, tried to call a timeout, but he had already stepped on the end line. Right. So a big break for ULR, and the Trojans got to have a bucket here. They need to switch the momentum in this game. Out front to Woods, left side to Reed. And Reed did not get a shot off. I thought he had an opening there. Inside the woods, Roger. Left hand, underhand. As it crossed under the rim. Nice move by the big guy. 60-57. Trojans needed that one big time. Gonna have a stop. Outler with it. Off the dribble. Takes it inside the paint. Deflection by Hagens. Pass from Wilson was intended. Benil in the corner. And Josh deflected it. And they'll have it on the side. Well, I'm glad Josh made a great play. He ran up the line and threw the ball and uh, I'd hate to see Neil with that pass receiving it in the corner the way he's been shooting it. 
Neal has it out front into the corner. It goes left side for Herbie for three. No good. Hagens with the rebound for UALR. Just surveying things. He brings it down the floor. Looking to penetrate. Takes it. And drops it underneath to Dillard. Out front to Woods. That's good. Back left side it comes to Hagens. Josh behind the back to Woods. Roger thinking about it. Looking to take the guy to the rack. Penetrated. Kicks it out now. Hagens off the dribble. Josh, fall away jumper, left side, no good. Battle for the rebound, Walker with it for UTA. Higgins had a nice look at it. He had it too many times not to shoot it, Bobby. Yeah. Trojans down by three with exactly five minutes to play. Ooh. There's a steal by Ben Dillard. Man, they just crouched, dropped that right in his lap. Well, they switched that, <laughs> and it just worked out. He just threw it right to uh, Ben and Josh did a good job of taking the guy that came off that pick. Hillard takes it, drops it inside the leaper. Gus, left hand jump hook, got it. Trojan down by one, 60 59 on the bucket by leaper with 4.35 to play. Fans getting their money's worth here tonight. That's the norm here at the Stevens Center, I will tell you that. These things used to make me nervous. I'm not sure I get nervous about them anymore. I'm lying, Bobby. I just said that. Out front, it is Neil with it. He launches a three. Wow. Had two guys on him. Unbelievable shot. I mean, I'm not believing he made that. 63-59. Give a lot of credit to Neil. He's got 11 on the night. He averages four on the season. We'll keep it right here. Right. Talking about it, Coach. Well, that's why when you're, especially at home, and you want, that's why I said at halftime, just swap buckets with them so when you get into the last four minutes of the game, at least you got a 12-point lead, and that's not that's not that much of a cushion in today's game. But more especially, when you're playing a team like Arlington that has the ability to shoot to three, and they have made 10 out of 24. If you remember, before the game I said, they don't shoot the three all that well, but they attempt a lot. They don't make a lot of threes, but they attempt a lot. Well, they've, they've attempted 24. Tonight, they've been pretty successful. They've, uh, they're shooting uh, 41%, 10 out of 24. When you're playing a team like that, they can also counter that with a drive, the way they go to the bucket, McClanahan, Coulter, and then Neal standing on the perimeter, Charles. I tell you, they're, they're a heck of a basketball team. Trojan Trail, 63-59. Foul situation, ULR with nine. Roger Woods in the paint, got it to go. Trojans with nine fouls. Next one, and UTA is in the double bonus. Only five team fouls against the Mavs here in the second half. Out front, into the corner, goes to Hervey. Hervey is long. You won't block his three-point shot, which they tried a moment ago. McClanahan penetrates, gets it to Hervey, gets the guy in the air, now lets it fly. Shot is no good. Leaper did a nice job blocking Bilbo out, and Reed slipped in and got the rebound. Here comes Hagens down the floor, leaves it to Reed. Reed into the corner to Woods. Roger looking to power his way in. Kicks it left side to Dillard. Then turn one down. Reed's standing out here warning it. Let's it fly for three. No good. Wow. Had a great look at it. Herbie with the rebound. 3.15 to go. A two-point game. 63-61. That's one of those shots, Bobby. In a game, you got to make that shot. Yeah. They did everything to get you wide open. Yeah. And you got to can it. That's been the problem with this team. Crunch time. They hadn't been able to make shots. Out front, it is Wilson with it. He will get it to Charles, who's been on the bench for a long time, to McClanahan, who can create off the dribble. Gosh. Zips it down low, Bilbo's wide open, he blows the layup. Lieber comes up with a loose basketball, and they'll get UTA for the reach-in foul. That's team foul number six. Lieber did a nice job protecting the basketball, and that, that foul's on Bilbo. That'd be number four on him. We got wow. a uh, we got an immediate timeout. 2.51 to play. UTA leads ULR 63-61. Hero Coach Lines is ready to take you and your group on your next trip. Whether it's one day to Oakland or one week to Florida, Hero Coach Line will meet your needs. 47 to 56 passenger coaches are available for charter service. Our motor coaches come equipped with DVD systems and Internet access is available. We have added a new 16-passenger Sprinter van to our fleet, which is ideal for local service or airport transfers. Call 663-6002. Aero Coach Lines, a family-owned and operated business for over 65 years. If you keep a busy schedule and are in need of one place to shop rather than running all over town, try Lakewood Village in North Little Rock. 
It's one-stop shopping from head to toe. We offer the finest clothing and shoe stores to meet your needs. If you want to catch a movie or go to lunch or dinner, you can do that at Lakewood Village. Also available are doctors, dentists, and MRI specialists. If it's some leisure time you're looking for, then take a walk around the pavilion and lake for some exercise. That's Lakewood Village, your home away from home. Hi, I'm Joe Smith, Mayor of North Little Rock. January is restaurant month in North Little Rock. Get free tickets to the February 5th. I don't know who recorded this spot, but they were this overmodulated. This by eating out of the North Little Rock restaurant. Please repeat, the North Little Rock Business Bureau in Burns Park, or the North Little Rock Chamber of Commerce at 100 Main Street. And receive one free ticket for every $5 ticket. Don't forget to pick up your copy of the 2015 North Little Rock Dining and keep Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Two fifty one left to play here at the Stevens Center and UALR trailing Texas Arlington 63-61. It's Trojan basketball. Leeper Woods, Dillard Hagens, and Reed for UALR. Ray, I'd like to see uh, I'd like to see UALR run their one four offense and that but they've got that in their repertoire where they go to the elbow and back door and look at several options. Looks like they're going to do something set here that we haven't seen. Higgins is running the show at the point guard spot. High oh, post, it comes to Leeper. Back to Higgins on the right side. Josh trying to go baseline. Tried to do too much. Missed the shot. He was challenged by the big guys. Had to shoot it over the top. That's another one to remember. Mavs leading it by two. Timeout situation, ULR has two, the Mavs have one. Team fouls, one more on Texas Arlington, and ULR being the one and one, one more on the Trojans, and they'll shoot two. Out front, it is Wilson with it. He'll get it to McClanahan. Leeper cuts him off along the baseline and kick it around. Charles for long range for three, got it. That's the difference right there, making shots when you got to have them. 66-61, Trojans down by five with a minute 52 to play. Woods gave up his dribble. Now he'll come left side to Dillard. Then takes it in heavy traffic, gets it to Reed. Reed looking for the three, got it. Trojans needed one and they got it. And Steve Shields will use one of his two timeouts with 139 left to play. Reed with 13, and that is a, nope, not a career high for him. His career high is 14. Yeah, I, <coughs> Coach Shields is going to try to give them an idea about uh, Two things. One, uh, look for them. Don't get caught in this back door. Uh, that one fourth they started in the second half with, right? And and don't bail them out of the shot clock if it gets down because they probably aren't going to take it real quick at this point in the game. Minute 39. I'm talking about Arlington. So if we get down the last five, eight, seven seconds of the shot clock, we've defended them well. Don't bail them out by fouling them. Don't give him a second shot. Contest the first shot. And then he, he's instructed them on probably the next two offensive plays. East coach has a timeout remaining. And New ALR. And one thing that's notable, Thomas and Smith aren't on the floor who are neither good free throw shooters for New ALR. Left side it comes to Wilson. Wilson looking for the cutter coming through. He'll get it in the hands of McClanahan, who's the most active and biggest threat on the floor. McClanahan thought about it. Now he drops it off, gets it right back. See? Wide open for a three, and he backs off with 15 on the shot clock. Now he'll take it off the dribble. He'll give it up to Wilson. Wilson for three. Shot is no good. Whistle. And they call UL off of fouling the jump shooter. Are you kidding? Or was that underneath? I think it was underneath with Leaper. That's on Dillard, no. his fourth. Is it three? Three shots. That's a cheapie, I'll tell you that. Yep, three. three. Oh, and at the line is Wilson. He shoots 56%, Bobby, so you know, against you, LA, he's going to make them all. Ray, I, I didn't see that. I was looking inside. Did, was it? Did he, uh, I was looking for the battle for the rebound, and he misses that one. Minute 13 left to play. Gee, Mane. We're at our Baptist Health broadcast position midway up here in the Stevens Center. And Wilson backed all the way off the line, took the ball with him. Not seen anybody do that in a long time. 
He's thinking about it a whole lot. He makes the second one. It's a three-point game. Wow. His first point of the night. And this is a big one here. Wilson's a 6'2 freshman. And he makes two of the three. So it's a two-possession game with a minute 13 to go. Higgins will bring it down the floor for UALR. Got to have a bucket here. Josh takes it all the way to the rack. The floater, no good. Tipped out. Got to be able to finish that off. Texas Arlington in no hurry. He walked. And they'll get Hagens for the reach-in foul. And that's the first of the night against Hagen. And that will send them the line to shoot a couple of free throws. Josh took it all the way. The rack shot it high off the glass and couldn't get it to go. Yeah. Well, Coach Hills is putting a shooter in there, a three-point shooter right now. Oh, we're going to dig a deep hole if he makes both of these right. Yes, we are. Arkansas's most comprehensive sports news is found seven days a week only. In the Arkansas Democrat Gazette, McClanahan is an excellent free throw shooter, makes that one. He leads all scores with 17 on the night. The leaper out of the game, Isom comes in, who's a three-point shooter. After the game, it's a big red store's post-game show. Hang around. 53.6 left to play. McClanahan misses the second. Isom, who just checked into the game, skies for the rebound. Trojans down five with 49 seconds to play. Hagens down the floor with it. Gets it to Isom. We'll get it to Dillard. Then looking to create off the dribble. Takes it in the paint. Basket will count, and then will go to the line. Nice move by the senior. Well, we can get within two here. Each coach has a timeout remaining. I don't think he'll use the timeout here. He's going to instruct them from the sideline, Ray, to put pressure on the ball. Uh, <coughs> Arlington will have a full job. And Dillard missed the free throw. Well, Arlington's got a full shot clock. We need to get up foul. McClanahan with it. Trojans are giving chase, and they can't catch him. And Reed fouls him. That's number four on him. And that's not the guy you want to foul. I'm telling you, McClanahan is good, and he's been pretty darn good at the line tonight. Bobby, his number's right there. Nine for 11 from the free throw line. Nine for 11, and on the season, McClanahan shoots 75%. And so these guys with a chance to win at the free throw line tonight because that's what they're going to shoot. And it's good. Four-point game with 28.5 to play. Trojans have lost seven games by five points or less this year. McClanahan second one is also good. Okay, got to accelerate everything we do. Push Seven. it hard, Josh. 71-66. You got to go with it, Josh. Hagen's from long range for three. Boy, I thought he had that one. Rebound by Hervey. He is fouled by Woods, and they'll walk to the other end to shoot free throws. And Hervey shoots 72%. I thought that one was going to go down for I Josh. I did, too. Georgia basketball brought to you by Baptist Health Orthopedic Center. Choose a physician who chooses Baptist Health. Sponsored by Baptist Health Orthopedic Center, the Orthopedic Center of Excellence. It sounds like I need Baptist Health, doesn't it? <laughs> Hervey at the line, the chance to sew this baby up. And he makes the free throw. 72-66. The Sun Belt is more parity in this league than I've ever seen before. Without a doubt. And ULR had a chance there to, this evening to do some damage. 73-66. Hervey made them both. Dillard penetrates, kicks it out. Ison backs up to the three ball. Shot is up and is no good. Woods with the rebound. Stick back is no good. Woods is fouled. He'll go the line to shoot two with 10.9 left in the game. And I will tell you what. This will be a very, very disappointed and frustrated group. Woods, the junior out of Jackson, Mississippi, shooting free throws. That one is good. Kaufman Lumber is building business on service. Over 60 years in the industry. That's our good friends at Kaufman Lumber, 5100 Asher Avenue in Little Rock. Roger Woods made them both. 
73-68, a five-point game with 10.9 left to play. We've done it before. We can do it again. Crazy things that have happened. We'll have a steal, steal it here. hit a three, foul. Didn't get the steal, and they didn't foul. Oh my! Down the floor it goes to Charles, and Charles gonna go ahead and just and he blows the layup, and then Bilbo comes over the back, tips it in. 73-68 with four seconds left to play to Isom. No launches one. Shot is up. It is no good. And UTA comes into Little Rock and gets a victory tonight. Our final, 75-68. Up next, it's a Big Red Stores post-game show. The Golden Corral in North Little Rock is the place to be if you and your family are hungry. Golden Corral has the largest buffet in Central Arkansas, including an all-you-can-eat special during the week. On Tuesday, kids eat for $1.99 from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. And at 7 p.m. that night, there'll be a drawing for prizes. Friday is for seafood lovers, including the always popular catfish. And every day is the Great Steak Dinner Buffet. The Golden Corral. If you're planning a building or remodeling project, then make Kaufman Lumber Company part of the plan. We encourage you to take advantage of our combined 60-plus years of sales experience at our 5100 Asher Avenue location. Kaufman Lumber Company is also the exclusive Marvin Windows distributor for the Little Rock area. Please visit Kaufman by Design, our showroom at 2511 West 7th Street for your custom Marvin Windows and millwork needs. Get an example of the lost art of friendly customer service, and remember, you're never a number at Kaufman Lumber. We think the world of our customers. Here's Michael Font, CEO of Roberts McNutt. First thing I wanted to do in developing this market was come up with an effective ad program. First person I thought of was Ron Sherman Advertising. So I made a call to Ron, and I have to tell you, that was the right call to make. That's ronshermanproductions.com, 568-8100. Hi, this is Ron Sherman reminding you it's never a bad day for a great idea. <laughs>